All right, today we are doing it. We've got the 560X version of the i9 2019 MacBook Pro, and we've got the Vega 20 beast of the machine of the i9 Vega, whatever the hell just happened, 2019 MacBook Pro. And my friends, I am telling you something, I learned something today, and I'm gonna tell you it straight. The CPU on the 560X version actually runs faster than the Vega 20, even though the Vega 20's fans go 40% louder than 560X. All right, now we're cooking. One minute into this test, you can see that the 560X version is starting to take a lead. It's going at 9.8 FPS, while the Vega 20 version, same processor, is going 9.6 FPS. So although the Vega 20 has louder and faster fans, Two minutes into this test, you can see the CPU frequency on the 560X version, exact same processor by the way, it's going 3.3 gigahertz, whereas the Vega 20 version is only going 3.1 gigahertz. So even though this guy goes 6,000 reps per minute and sounds 40% louder than this guy, this guy's CPU is faster than that. I was shocked to hear that, I didn't understand that. And my friends, the Vega 20 version suffers from power drain. I've only used this Vega 20 for a week and I'm already down to 14 cycles of battery. Check out my battery. Cycles, I've already used 14 cycles. 14 cycles in a week, that is horrendous. And the battery, look at this, it's constantly dipping. It starts at 100%, then it dips down to 99.6, 199.6, and I've had this computer completely unplugged from everything. I've just had it on the DC plugged in on this and it constantly dips. It's killing my battery. And that's because I use this like a professional should, like a workhorse, like a beast. And it's just too beasty for the contents of its character. Power City. Now, there are advantages to the Vega 20 version. And yes, the graphics card is faster. In Fortnite, I was getting 40 frames a second. Whereas the 560X was only giving me 30 frames a second. I was crying, I was sad, I was trying to shoot and trying to aim. I missed, I lost the match. Okay, so we're going around 30 frames a second here with the fans leveling out at around 4,500 revs per minute. And on the Vega 20, we're getting 40, 43 frames a second. But that speed comes at a cost. Fan Noise City, we covered it in the last city. It continues today. Fortnite on this guy, 30 frames a second, but the fans go 4,500. It is a bearable experience. This guy, 6,000. 6,000 just maxed out. It doesn't want to shut the F up. However, Fan Noise City, check it out, 6,000 RPM. This is a noisy beast for 10 frames a second. And it takes an extra minute to cool down. This guy, when you stop doing something heavy, the fans ramp down after about a minute. This guy, two minutes, two minutes. Okay, it might not make a difference in your life, but if you're constantly doing tasks and all that stuff, it means it's gonna get hotter longer. I use one of these crazy, Thermal imaging cameras. Look at this guy. Boom, shakalaka, all the way from Banggood. 43, 44 degrees. This guy is on fire. His fans are on max. It's going 6,000 revs per minute and it's going up to 45 degrees centigrade. Look at that. So the 560X, a cool, well, okay, not so cool, but a slightly cooler, 41 degrees centigrade. And funnily enough, the Vega 20 is actually going slower than the 560X. Look at that. The Vega 20 is going 9.8 frames a second, whereas the 560X is going 10 frames a second. CPU frequency, you're getting 3.5 gigahertz, and CPU frequency, 3.3 gigahertz on the Vega 20. So look at that. Once again, Vega 20 is going really hot. 43 degrees centigrade, 44.5 degrees centigrade. Don't use the keyboard, mate. It'll burn your fingers off. Whereas this guy, look at that, 41. So that's three degrees cooler and it runs faster on the CPU. Yeah, it does get hotter. This guy was going around 41 degrees centigrade when it was maxed out. Whereas this guy goes 44 degrees. That's three extra degrees. It's gonna burn your fingers off. My fingers, I need them. How am I gonna type? How am I gonna trackpad? It's over. And what's crazy is, even after I've stopped the tests, the 560X version, the fans are at 3,000, whereas the five, uh, whereas the Vega 20 is going at 6,000 RPMs. And I've, I've finished this test. I tested out Logic Pro. Can they do 93? 
Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Proof right there. The 560X version CPU, which is exactly the same as the Vega 20 CPU, can actually do more tracks. I tested out Final Cut. I tested out in Unreal Engine. Maximum fan speed at the moment on both. Just finished my Logic Pro X test. So we've got 23 on the left and we've got 23 on the right. 30 on the left, 30 on the right. They're going the same speed. Yeah, they're going the exact same speed. So this demo is a CPU bottleneck. This one's Blackmagic's brand new raw speed test. Let's see if you can handle 8K. Let's see, 8K on the CPU and GPU. You got 40, you got 43 on both. And on the GPU, the Vega 20 version gets an extra five frames a second. So on the most aggressive test, three to one ratio, the Vega 20 gets 27 frame rate on the CPU and the 560X gets 28 frame rate on the CPU. On metal, 560X gets 50 and Vega 20, whoa, gets 49, it gets less. What the actual, what the actual. 49 right there, 50, 50 right there. All right, now we're in FCPX, three, two, one, let's go, 16. Video effects on the left is the 560X and on the right you have the Vega 20. As you can see the Vega 20 is slightly faster, we're getting more frame rates a second. And about two minutes in, the fans on the Vega 20 version have ramped up to max. They are loud, loud as hell. Whereas the 560X version is only going at 2600 RPM. All right, let's do a rendering test. Three. Two, one, on your marks, get set, go, 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 go. Interestingly here, you can see the Vega 20 version is faster than the 560X version. However, the fans have actually gone full on max on the Vega 20, whereas the 560X are still running at 2,500 RPM. So the 560X is silent exporting this, where the Vega 20 is a boost, beast mode. What's really interesting is, is that Look, it's eating up over 80 watts, the system total, whereas the DC, the adapter over here can only provide 79 watts of power, 79 watts. So we're draining our battery on the Vega 20 during the export. Vega 20 has now finished. It's around 50% faster than the 560X, is that right? Let's run Unigen heaven, cause good girls go heaven, bad girls go everywhere. All right, you can see Vega 20 is earning its metal. It's getting 30 frames a second over here and the 560X, I'm sorry, 17 frames a second. Come back to me when you've had an eGPU job. You get it? Something interesting about this test is that even though the 560X version is slower, it's going around 20 frames a second here, whereas the Vega 20 is going double, 42 frames a second here. The fans on the Vega 20 are maxed out 6,000 RPMs, whereas the 560X, it's only 3,800. So, just be aware of that. Noise city, here we are. All this kind of goodness that you don't only see. Even Sinbench, I read it six times in a row. So the 560X got 1,317 and the Vega 20 got 1,289. Let's do that again, that was crazy. There you go, on the fifth run through, 560X got 1,298. And the Vega 20 version with harder, faster, louder fans. It only got 1,254. So all those people that told you that the Vega 20 version is actually faster than 560X version because it has better fans, they lied to you. Proof. I was shocked. Hope you learned something today. Let me know what you think. I think I'm going to chuck this guy back to the return department and keep this one. Unfortunately for me though, my friends, DHL decided to kick my... MacBook Pro's box it came a little bit damaged. I've got a wobbly touch ID button. I called up Apple, I was just to complain about DHL and they pretty much just said, you know what, we're gonna send you a replacement because if you got a wobbly key from it, that means it's probably gonna get damaged a lot quicker. So even though this guy had a damaged Mac, it still was beating out this guy. Or maybe, maybe, you just need to slap your Mac a bit and it'll behave. <laughs> All right, I'm done. MacBook Pro is done for this month. Not getting any more, not doing anything else on this MacBook Pro. Enjoy your life. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And goodbye. 
Eat Mubarak, by the way.